mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. I mentioned in our reviews of the first two episodes of this game that I hadn't seen a single episode of the hugely popular AMC series, The Walking Dead. This seemed to shock people, so let me explain. I don't do scary or gory, and certainly not both. I haven't read the graphic novels either. Got it? Alright, good. It wasn't such a chore now, was it? Anyway, I think knowing I'm usually not into stuff like this is important, because it illustrates just how special this thing is. I mean, this isn't some horror buff telling you this. This is someone with a stomach that revolts at the mere thought of blood telling you, you absolutely have to play this game. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Long Road Ahead is the third episode of The Walking Dead, an episodic adventure game from the geniuses at Telltale Games. And now that all five episodes have been released, and a second season has been promised, there's no better time to jump on this incredible ride. Each episode gets more gripping, more shocking, and more desperate. See, in the first episode, your concern was escaping the zombies, the walkers, as they're called. But in the second episode, that started to change. Slowly, the fear of the undead was being surpassed by a fear of the living. You started to realize that a desperate human can be far more menacing than a dead one. They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. The, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. And in Long Road Ahead, well, that transformation is complete. Your group of survivors, which was slowly being consumed by internal tension, really begins to crack here in Episode 3. And I don't want to spoil anything, but man, it's incredible what these characters have gone through, let alone what's in store for them here. And that's the thing about The Walking Dead. I mean, in terms of its gameplay, it can seem somewhat pedestrian. It's actually a pretty typical point-and-click adventure based on exploration and dialogue, but it's precisely that dialogue that makes it so special. You become so attached to the characters, you kind of go through the hardships with them. You feel the emotional weight of every situation. In fact, you know, I'm not sure I've played a video game with a more engrossing story. I mean, Bioshock was incredible, but Bioshock didn't make me cry. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. Our group goes through more than ever in episode three. And I say our group because you feel like you're a part of it. All the decisions you've been making are weighing over your head, and the ones you're about to make are harder than any you've made yet. I've never played a game that makes me care as much as The Walking Dead. And in Long Road Ahead, I cared more than ever.